LYG, two teams that we didn't expect to necessarily see, or at least LYG. We thought Mongols would be a sure in to, to take this battle, but LYG provide the upset. Now they have an opportunity to go through to the final of this close qualifier. Yeah, look, and uh, again, I don't want to kind of write them off, but surely not, right? It, it should be... It should be Lin Vision and LYG have actually gone for the Vertigo pick to kick things off, which means Lin Vision start on the CT side. Not seen too much of Lin Vision on Vertigo, so that's quite exciting. G and Starry immediately being challenged at Gap by Soundwave, waiting patiently. The Doolies go around the corner, but it's Soundwave with the flashbang set up by Sanj to immediately get this bomb down. Yeah, Soundwave was phenomenal on Anubis. He starts off. Vertigo with a bang, a re-smoke as well. That is very painful for the CTs. Westmelon setting up a flash for Zaka to swing on through. Waiting for it, comes over the top. He's gone right past. Husky are tucked in next to the smoke, undetected. Westmelon at least gets one back, but now he's alone. This pistol goes the way of LYG. Not even had a chance to really speak about Lin Vision, kind of what they bring to the table. Look, these guys are the best team in china they have performed fantastically well obviously made it also through the asia rmr and are looking to kind of bounce back because they actually got knocked out by the mongols in that kind of first round of play at the major they're a team that can do some damage they're a team that i expect to be performing incredibly well and they completely rolled over Atox, another team that looked really competitive at that RMR. So it's a good sign of things to come. But LYG winning the pistol, resetting Lin Vision, putting them just on these pistols. A singular flashbang to potentially open an opportunity. Westman and line that up at the sandbag. Ziggy being quite loud. Flashbang not coming in. Instead, it's G just taking the fight. The Galil trying to do some damage, but G yet again recovers up the AK, looking for more damage. Sand just now tucked in the corner and stuck. He drops the smoke just to try and escape. Getting spammed, but no kill found. I mean, look at the map though. You can see that the bomb site has been taken. Asex is in towards elevator, just fighting forward. He needs to be careful. If he goes down, which he might get run over, not aware how. Oh, hey, sound wave. Here to save the day. She gets a, a third kill for his troubles. And that's a very deadly eco from Lin Vision. But OIG will stick the landing. That's, uh, yeah, I mean, they stick the landing through the most amount of turbulence I've ever seen towards Elevator. I, I'm not sure Asex what his decision making is there, but fortunately enough, Soundwave is there just about to avert the danger and prevent that from being an absolute catastrophe. That was shocking. And a simple fight in towards ramp gives Lin Vision a lot of success, and that will give them confidence moving forward. Haskia already taking a lot of damage. In fact, he's been removed from the server. Sanji will trade through that smoke. Zaka needs to be a little bit careful. Crazy trade coming from Sanj. Look at Zingy. Look at the yeah, timing Zing's... he's here. He's walked all the way through. They, they have no idea. No idea. And Zingy, he's just going to take full advantage of this. Flanking around, knowing that it's a forward position held by Lin Vision. Oh, he's got both lined up, but the fumble on the first shot. How does that tap miss? G is given another opportunity, and at least he will take down Zingy. But these players coming up the ramp do their job. West Melon slips in. Asex has heard this rotation. And again, he's in the elevators before the bomb goes down. Amelia was considering it. And West Melon is stuck. Has to fight his way out past Asex. If he can find this kill, there's be a world. Asex is going to walk around CT spawn, just holding the rotation as the bomb will be planted B. That's not considering it, but Asex, great timing. Just flanks on flanks. The initial one, I, I'm not sure. How Zingy misses the tap, he gets one kill, but to be honest, the distraction's enough because Lin Vision, they give up mid completely. Asex is just able to work his way through that area of the map and they're able to find these backstabs. LYG are overwhelming Lin Vision right now. Again, another pistol round. 
coming in for this CT side. It's a really good opportunity for LYG just to up the stakes and continue their march. Soundwave opens up his account in this round, 7-2, to two, performing immaculately. Ziggy slots one as he walks through middle. Star is going to get smoked off as Asex is going to get another one onto Amelia. Soundwave having no issues entering through. Eventually, Sari will find a timing for one kill. Got a 4-0 start for LYG on their map pick. And we've got to talk a little bit about Vertigo because it's not a map. As you mentioned, kind of surprised that it comes through because yeah. it's, it's actually a pretty decent punish, right? It's not a map that Lin Vision play a lot they, they played it at the uh, rmr and they got pretty destroyed by greyhound on it that was the one map the greyhound did work hold up as i'm on my diatribe starry is being hunted and it still managed to find kills keeping it interesting but surely can't find asex and there's no time anyway but a huge amount of damage inflicted no ace for him as ace will get the kill this is a great start on Vertigo. You can see Lin Vision feeling a little shaky on it. Yeah, look at that map pool as well in the top right. Vertigo, then Anubis, which we saw Soundwave do really good work on. LYG putting a lot of pressure in towards mid. It'll be interesting to see if they kind of adopt that same strategy. An overpass to the decider. There's a, a lot of room to build here for Lin Vision. They just have to get some go in here in this gun round finally it starts off a little bit better Soundwave removed early from the aggression being put forward by West Mellon. and now back to ramp a tale of success historically for LYG on the ascent and it will just be a one for one but that still keeps the numbers in favor of this CT side Starry drops a nade and falls all the way back wants the support of his team before moving further yeah, G's also going to be joining up in towards gap. That's going to take in the aggression up ramp. Sorry, it's just going to spam. So, you know, there's some presence there, but that's all a bit of a ruse. It's to lull you into the full sense of security that there's no warp. That doesn't matter. G's flick goes awry, and that's given Zingy the kill on Sari. Walk down low. G wants another chance, another opportunity. Let's capture it. Yep. Jiggles the angle and G finds the kill. So now he can just reset. The whole squad's starting to come over. Amelia just jiggling in mid, keeping an idea of what's going on there. What a oh, sweet what? Ziggy. That's insane. Perfectly done. Handles West Melon with ease. And that's allowed the bomb to come through. Look at Zingy as well. That nade doesn't quite blow it open. So he can still be in the sweat. Oh. Never mind. G finds him. A uh, 2 or 1 for Asex. Who's retreated in towards Gap. There's a smoke that can be deployed for the retake. There's no kit available. That's the noteworthy thing. There might be one on the bomb site, but Amelia and G have got to find it. And they need to find Asex. Tap on the bomb. He swings. Doesn't see. And then G reveals himself. Back turned. Asex strikes. Another clutch potentially. We'll start spamming. Amelia battered, bruised, but not being found. He will get the kill, but he won't have the time to defuse. LYG continue their dominant run here. Yeah, another clutch from Asex. We saw him do it on Anubis and uh, ended the map as well as the, the 1v2 he pulled off. And he's done it again here. Coming in clutch for LYG. Brutal fall in vision because it, it felt like they had a kit. You know, that would have been so doable. The timing as well. Asex times it perfectly when he jiggles out from gap. Got to force the, the first time out from the Envision. We also take a look at the veto over on the right hand side as that is going to pop up. We've got Anubis as the, the map from the Envision. Honestly, if LYG can take away Vertigo and again, another upset map, their Anubis looked very good. Yeah. Kind of having that conversation before, like the fact that they were really kind of boisterous in towards middle. They were bullying that area of the map a lot, especially on, the, on their T side. Versus the Mongols. But Lim Vision, they're, they're a team that will fight you. They were a team that like to take a lot of risks. And that's a, a different play style compared to the Mongols, who are a lot more 
regimented and they're a lot more organized. Limvision are more than happy to kind of play as the game really dictates for it. There's a lot of variation they like to pull out in the middle of rounds based on how they're feeling in the game. Speaking of how people are feeling in the game, this one is a straight up rush, but they're not ready for West Melon. He finds two kills and that is enough just to bring this forward for Lin Vision. But it's Sanger doing absolutely everything. Finds the kill on the Generators players. The Molly and the Nades go in high to prevent Starry from progressing too much further forward. This retake for Lin Vision looks a bit dodgy. And again, there's not a kit on these players. Maybe one on the site that can be picked up, but a double smoke lands. There's still one more that can be distributed. Despite West Melon's heroics with a double kill, it's nowhere near enough. Six in a row for LYG. LVG. I can't do anything to stop it. It actually feels very similar to the Mongols game in terms of the... the how much they're getting caught off guard. If like Mongols kept getting, not, not expecting LYG to be playing the way they are. This is just a domination to kick off oh, the series. That was a great round though. Oh, well, that was a really cool round out of LYG because they put so much pressure towards middle. They put pressure in towards the A bomb site for every single one of these rounds. They've only been establishing very late control towards the B stairs. So this time, it's a role reversal. They sprint up, they have an immediate plan out the gate that they want to hit this B bomb site, and it catches Lin Vision completely off guard. They are not ready for that amount of firepower so early on. Normally, they only expect Soundwave here. And Westman's been getting the best of him. Probably won't in this round. Those two save rifles have to do the... Lion's share of the work in round seven, and it feels a little bit difficult. This one's just pure contact. LYG, they send the nades forward. They don't receive any sort of rebuttal, and as a result, they take the space. Miscom, double molly, but there is a boost. Oh no, it's been disassembled. Would have been the perfect way to counter. Okay, back on up, Starry goes. Soundwave catches Amelia again, getting this opener over at B. That's going to cause some rotations. But Sari's spotting the head. Spots the Jiggle, gets his. Falls back, just spamming, but that's all a distraction to enable G to also run forward. That smoke was not what he was looking for. Goes a bit further. Wanted it to fall into gap so that he had something to work with, and Zingy is going to exploit it immediately. Rifles are still in play. There's still a chance to fight this for the CTs, but Azek spans Zaka. He was in the perfect position. He was the one that could have denied great incendiary. It's not going to end Azek's life. If you're starry, kind of want to keep this for the next round, but maybe Westmelon can get something done. On that flank, good tap through. Starry, what a kill. But Soundwave is unstoppable. Nice try from Live Vision again. They're trying to make the, the most of what they've got in that round. The pistols were up close, doing a, a lot of damage early. The flank from West Melon is enough of a distraction to enable Starry to get another kill. But this is all just kind of consolations when it comes to the, the grand scheme of things. You, you take a look at the, the numbers at the top of the screen, they don't lie. LYG, they've picked Vertigo and they have not put a foot wrong in this map so far. Soundwave being tested yet again. This time it is Amelia alongside West Melon to inflict some damage. Haskia loves this angle at ramp, just holding patiently just in case Lin Vision wants to push. Molly goes on his position, so he needs to fall back. A lot of it's damage. A few tickles. Lin Vision aren't laughing, but she does get an opener. Looking around these smokes, able to punish Zingy on the other side. Gonna deter these two over at ramp. Here again, another Molotov flushes him out. He still survives. The smoke's giving some coverage to stay present. Ooh. That would have been sick. One back through the smoke, goes each way. And West Mellon gets the best of Asex, who has been potent on these mid lurks. This is finally looking like Lin Vision are gonna break through. It all depends on Soundwave, because if he grabs a kill, then suddenly, oh, he pulls all the attention. 
Fortunately enough, Westmoreland's there for the immediate trade, and finally it looks like a round could be locked in. Look at Zaka. G doesn't need to do a thing. Finally, Lin Vision are able to post a round on the board, but now they need to be all in succession. I feel like five should be the bare minimum now because LYG are looking scary. And it feels like once they got the momentum on their side, it's really difficult for any team to break them. Couple of gate upgrades for the, of the AKs. That's already broke the economy, despite seven in a row. I'll be deep. Look at Wounded, and they're going fast. With Pace, up the ramp. Good kill from Starry, he's being hounded, but gets away. There's plenty of reinforcements, so much called out. The pressure being put on, G is undeterred. He's ready for the fight, gets his. You can just sit back. Sanj is going to get one over the top of that smoke, but they're eaten alive. Westmelon with the double. And the force by with the tech nines not able to get into a there you go that's better and that's just the consequence of the amount of rounds the vision nearly achieved but weren't able to get over the line force by isn't a success story which means it's a couple of deagles thrown into the mix there could be no armor on this for lyg this should be lin vision being able to get another round in their back pocket but what i will say is we saw against the mongols that lyg some of their best work was only with pistols only with uh, a couple of deagles they were able to completely limit the amount that the mongols were able to really do in a lot of these rounds and lim vision are a team that I feel like they they would have learned from this they would have probably seen the third map as well pan out between those two sides and know that LYG are always going to wait for opportunities. They're going to let the mistakes come to them. But that won't happen in this one. Very clean indeed. Yeah, this is what you want. Nearly gets a chance to get a couple of frags as well. She's had a bit of a slow start on B. That's where Soundwave's been punishing him. No bomb plant means that might take a couple of galils. And it feels like five is is achievable. It's a mix of G2 and, and Lin Vision fans on the CT. Is, uh, wouldn't you just use your own? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you change it for playoffs. True. To me, it's like an ego thing, right? If, if you see the other teams got graffitis in the game, you're kind of like, damn, they're pretty good. True. But currently... If you're LYG, you're thinking we're better. Look at Westmelon. Shrouded in secrecy, just under these B steps. But the issue is, LYG are going to wait for the smokes to dissipate. Soundwave. Hoping for an opportunity. Westmelon, oh, his feet just about spotted. And he can't get out. And that's going to be the activation clause. LYG are going to steamroll themselves into B. They're not slowing down. You can see a response from the CTs. Drop the flames, drop the smoke, slow them down. Do something to give time. Amelia wants to step in, but the Molotov that goes back side is perfect for dealing with him. And Sanj gets one over the top of the smoke on Azaka, who was trying to get aggressive. Starry's going to drop an incendiary, but he's already backing out. This one's done. Again, it has to be it has to be the save. I don't think you can realistically go for this retake. I don't think it hurts to though. I mean look at the money. There's only yeah, one true. more round. True, but it's a two on five, and if you look at the positions of especially of where G is, he, he's under A. And you can't really flank with an AWP realistically in this position. So as a result, you're just trying to hold on to it, and that's exactly what he's doing. Two kills immediately. Might be given a, another chance to hold on to his weapon. I still don't agree with it. I think Starry especially should have done something. Uh, yeah, I agree. They, they should. Because they've got the money they, and they can realistically afford an AWP into the next round anyway for G, they should be hunting and trying to at least gather some rounds on the board. Because instead, you're obviously min-maxing your rounds to potentially four. Sure, that round seemed improbable anyway, but you never know if you don't give it a go. Yeah, especially when you are you know, still the favorite team in this matchup, right? It we talk about Mongols, you know, being at the major. Envision were there with them. 
Yeah. Might not have found the success, but certainly a team of a high caliber. Nevertheless, eight. Or LYG. Um, on wild through the smoke, Starry is able to avoid it. See, the ramp is very hotly contested. This reminds me of how Vertigo used to be so heavily just about spamming early on. Neither team wants to budge at all. Whoa. Oh, gee. I don't know where he even caught that dink from. I think that was Sanj. This West Melon that draws first blood. Starry's still hanging around. Timing to go through this smoke. It requires a replenish from Lin Vision. Zaka and Starry, I think they might even force the fights here at Gap. Gee, who's been very active around the crane is now falling back to heaven to look over. No need to move the defense when you've found that lurk in mid already. You know, that's safely protected. Good damage done for G, eventually rewarded for his angle. And great flashbangs forward. You can see Haskia wanted to go off that. Zingy at least will. Get Starry. Trade is fast from West Melon. Good spam as well. Almost brings down Zingy. And in fact, he does find Sanj. And for Zingy, there's no chance here, surely. Such little HP, so little time. The bomb's not even with him. He cannot win this round. This is going to be four, four Lin Vision.
a little bit of stabilization towards the end of the first half for Lin Vision, but ultimately LYG are in control of the game. And they've been very good at pistol rounds all day long. If they grab this, then suddenly we're already looking at map two. Scary prospect for Lin Vision. Lin Vision gonna be grouping up in mid. See, it's being jiggled. It's a, a two on two defense from LYG. Sanch will get this information shortly. Smoke goes forward. That's what one comes over to support and group up with these B players, but he's getting run down. Manages to actually fall back. Asex gets his kill from the site. Are you ready for another? Yes. <laughs> the flank up through the stairs is perfect. B is split. And it's a retake for Huskier and Zingi. You can see that there is a kit that's recovered. Ninja? Anyone? Maybe not. Huskier clearing angles. Zingy has also been very loud about the approach. Linvision know that both of these players are here. Spotted out is Haskia. Zingy gets the first kill and Haskia finds another. Zingy keeps pushing. Hang on a second. This was a 2 on 4 that's now been put into a 1 on 1. There's a smoke available. Haskia can drop that and he just about manages it, but he fakes it. It gets back on. Why on earth did he get off the bomb? That was the biggest bag fumble I think I've ever seen. What? Guy's got a smoke and a kit and his teammates drop down on the stairs. What? Why weren't you just defusing? As soon as your teammate has gone forward and literally dropped down, why didn't he smoke and defuse? He could have defused like three times over. But he, yeah, he just absolutely bricks it and makes all the wrong moves. Vision given a lifeline of that zingy looking to take it away one for one. What a shot! Are they sex hit another one? They're already trying to hurt Lin Vision immediately after fumbling the pistol. They've already put this into a player advantage. Envision reset. They want nothing more to do with mid. They want to group up and attack together. And that's exactly what they look to achieve because keep your eyes on gap. It looks like Zaka is pushing forward. He has a smoke thrown in his face for his trouble, but he's created a lot of space here for Envision to work up A. Zaka. Get Sanj. Still his player in the smoke. Zaka seems aware of it and easily deals with Haskia. These deagles that started deadly. Now only two of them remain. No way to disrupt this bomb plant. There's a smoke. With G getting sound wave. That should be this round converted comfortably. I've seen Azex pull a few clutches through, but it won't be three with just a deagle and a smoke to his name. I'll tell you right now, it's not gonna be. I'm not giving him anything to work with at all. This force by from LYG. Not going the way that they hoped, despite some early kills. Back will be found. Three stay alive. And then Vision are right back into things. Yeah, big round as well, because that, that came from a position of strength from LYG. But good on Zaka for clearing a lot of space up towards Gap. He was able to get his team to walk up ramp, and from there it was everyone together. And a solid charge onto the bomb site. Felt like Haskia wasn't aware that they could even be scaling up the bomb site in the first place. He gets completely blindsided. So sucker punch avoided. Yet again, LYG with just the Deegs. Holding just the close corners of this smoke, trying to trace the bullets through them. It's not working out. Instead, it's just damage being inflicted time after time by Zaka. The split through mid. They tried it last round. And this time, yet again, it goes uh, without casualty. Amelia, though, has cleared B. So it should be fine. Yeah, Amelia, yeah, making sure it's all okay. A 3k for him is... Get that Mac 10 working. What a nice deagle for Sarge. But it will be a seventh for Lin Vision. And Amelia might continue the hunt. The only Haskia that remains... 
It's a fairly ideal conversion for Lynn Vision. Getting the Mac 10, the frags. Even upgrading to the Galil that fell off his teammate. No, nope. he's gone hunting maybe. He's juggling it forward so he can grab it if he doesn't find anyone. There's the kill. Looking for it. Looking for it. He's searching. He's digging. And he's found gold. Yeah, a lot of, lot of money for Amelia. So he can say to G, hey, do you want an AWP? I can give you one. G instead just wants to opt for the AK. First gun round about to come in now for LYG. Zingy on the AWP, who was incredibly potent in the series against the Mongols. Had showed flashes of it in this first half and in fact just jumps down fully blind. Not ready for the amount of players that Lim Vision have brought over towards the B stairs. He upgrades G for free. And this starts to hurt a lot more for LYG. Nice nade. Something back. This keeps it even, and they managed to establish control of Ramp. You can see Lim Vision are now a little bit worried. They need to show some presence back over that direction. Just to keep some occupation. Keep some players present. Soundwave's just peering around this smoke. Not gonna spot anything. Lim Vision just taking a moment to pause, and that's causing LIG to have to worry about what's going on. What is going on over in the mini map? Okay, I think it's just layered. Yeah, that was super yeah. confusing. We're smelling cops of dink. But media finds Soundwave. That that's the B player. That's been removed. And Ooh. he follows up onto ASEX. B bomb site unlocked. Haskia has not moved a muscle. The bomb was already thinking about coming over, but off the back of that, Amelia double. And the space he's taken. 20 seconds left. There's just enough time to get this bomb over. They've already seen Haskia over at A. They know B is completely open for business. Barring a clutch, it should be. Haskia grabs a second M4. Faster than reloading. Has a little peek by the generators, but doesn't see anything initially. Envision are not going to give over this one. In fact, they're going to equalize the score line. It's going to be eight rounds each. Yes, this is looking so much better, isn't it? Envision not making the same mistakes we saw from Mongols. This T side. Looking very under control. Money builds up. Oh, okay. West Mullen. I mean, it's not a big deal. They pick up the orc and they've got plenty of cash. But I think he's maybe worried about getting hunted and didn't want to lose weapon. But no harm, no foul. No harm, no foul indeed. So Haskett keeps his M4. Everyone else is just going to have pistols around it. This is going to be a hero rifle into this one for LYG. And it, it gives... Almost a gentleman's agreement that Lin Vision are going to take the advantage in this map. The map pick of LYG, but Zingy is just so good on pistols. Has found Starry and has upgraded himself now to an AK. Smoke doesn't quite get blown open as far as Zaka would have wanted. Haskia at... trying to peek through just the gaps in the tarpaulin, and he does spot West Melon. But Westwell and spams right back. AK better than M4. Sanders just hit a mammoth of a shot. Even flashes himself over. And hoping for more opportunities. The Molly is going to flush him out. And G is able to collect. But this is getting really scary now. Yeah, I mean, it was scary when Sanders in that corner. And it felt like maybe he could find uh, another kill. AK recovered. The CTs arrive at the scene. He's just hunting, searching with this orb. Spots out one. That information goes both ways. Almost a flick. That look pretty on for it. Good Molotovs are going to force Soundwave backwards. 
counting util with a smoke onto it. That should allow the bomb to go down if they wish to, but the CTs are making it difficult. Amelia is running out of bullets. Eventually, the bomb will be planted. Spam does damage. Price is looking like it should be avoided, but as I say it, Asex able to get the head of Amelia. He is incredibly low. One good D could do it. Zingy with that AK. Time ticking down. No kit. Just needs to hit the shot. First one. Maybe his, but a flashbang to bail out G. This will be Lin Vision taking the lead. I tell you what, though. Every round just feels like a hard-fought battle. Every round is very scary. LYG, it's a good gamble for them to reset over at A. And, and that's simply because that's where all the action is unfolding. Have to make a decision with these rifles and... The fact it comes down to the one on two, the fact that it gets so scary for Lin Vision. It's just a testament to their character that they're able to weather the storm. Soundwave's taking damage early on. Zingy back well equipped with the AWP. I go toe to toe with G here. Time and shot fires off, but no connection until that smoke gets blown open. It looks like it was blown open as well by Lin Vision. Great way to kick things off. Zingy has been having a bit of a, a tougher one here. We saw in the earlier series he was playing lights out Counter Strike. Visionary instead going to go for a two prong assault in towards middle. Zaka and Amelia both finding kills. They're on opposite sides of the map as well, so that's going to split up the defense. Sanj only good for the one in middle. Envision recovering off conceding that opening kill, but there's still a defender on each side of the map. Starry putting the pressure in middle. The orb is in play. It's going to have to be Soundwave on B. Spots at the first. Saka known towards white box. Now Amelia slots in with his orb. And then we'll be this flanking towards middle. Flashbang over, but Soundwave's just waiting for his teammate to come support him. Wants to fight onto Zaka, but can't win it out. Needed that kill, and Starry's luck is perfect. Well done. Limvision just now adding layers to this T side. Pushing in towards middle. Making LYG sweat. They're being caught out a number of times on these rotations, and Amelia has just been fantastic. Started the game off really rough, actually. It was a very slow start on that CT side for Amelia, but he's more than made up for it with a number of meaningful contributions on that B bomb site. West Berlin this time looks to take the mantle, going up against the pistols. A lot of damage inflicted, but no casualties just yet. Flashbangs, incendiaries all thrown forward. Soundwave just cowering in fear behind the white box, but not for too much longer. The napalm actually doesn't spread to him. Starry will get his, though. And that was in towards middle. It should be fine for them to do with these pistols. A little bit of a crashing down ramp. Asuki can get himself an AK, but Amelia has caught the simultaneous aggression over at B. Amelia had a, a really difficult CT side, but is lights out on this B bomb site. His lurk timings, the amount of kills he catches, the amount of times he's just multi-fragged into the bomb site. He's been winning these rounds single-handedly. Once again, just doing the damage, forcing Lin Vision over the line. 11 rounds plays 8. LYG really struggling to get things going on that defense. They're running out of time. They're running out of chances. Lin Vision are punishing. They're showing their experience here on the server. And it is very much draws a lot of parallels between the, the game LYG played against the Mongols earlier today on Mirage, where it felt like they couldn't put a foot wrong on that B bomb site. 
it felt like they always wanted to go there and why would you change things if you're in vision it is just working out perfectly and what's cool is just the little variations that they're throwing in between the fight towards ramp allowing distractions for amelia to creep and crawl this round you're fighting in towards middle at the same time so amelia can get aggressive and punish it's just these little things are changing, but the overall story remains the same. Lin Vision want to end B. Soundwave, for all that he was doing on the T side, is struggling to find that same impact. Warp starts mid for the CTs this time. I smell it. That one's a little painful. Make sure that there's two players present, and that might keep this double CT set up in play. It's going to give some space for Lin Vision to start to inquire about the ramp. The bomb's going to group up with the squad over there. A flashbang forward. Soundwave does get his revenge on Amelia. Yeah, the, is the issue is now because Amelia is normally that focal point of contact for Lin Vision. They've completely lost that map control and that space. And the push through mid as well coming from Zingy. They're all rotating over. Because the information that's been gathered by Soundwave initially, it means that LYG can stack onto this A bomb site. And there's nowhere else for Lin Vision to go. Or is there? Or is there? Because they reset and they go back to B. Oh, but you have no idea. Westmelon's selling in a fake with a bit of utility. There is this four player in Gap, and that might be what gives him the information. If Westmelon finds that kill, which he does, that's going to keep them occupied. A rotation already started. Asex, a critical kill. Give some time, but the trade is fast. Player spotted towards Guardian. Time an issue. They need to get this bomb down. They need the they smoke. Don't. Oh, no time. No time. And despite almost all the kills going to Lin Vision, LYG win by the clock. LYG weren't convinced on that fake whatsoever. The, the second player, I, I think it was Sanji, just stayed. Thought about mid, but then remained at generators. With 20 seconds left, that's a massive call to make. And they get it right. LYG just able to hold on once more. That's their first round they've been able to post here in this second half. Soundwave just reduced to an MP9, but everyone else is sitting pretty. Oh, what a shot from Zaka. That's one way to get the opener. Amelia, again, using the support of West Melon, who cops the brunt of the damage, does get the kill. So two player advantage to find themselves map point. Zach is begging for this kill, but the jiggle not gonna extend further than this for Haskia. Holding the jump up angle. Gonna catch a player off guard. Oh, it's gonna start to consider a wider swing and spots a whole bunch of players, but no kill found. Just damage done. Sanj is able to find the lurk. There is a late flight coming from Asex, but this depends on what Sarge can find. Oh, oh. blow on the smoke is perfect. That's going to force the save. It really felt like there was a world in which LYG could have attempted that retake. Because look at the HP bars of these players. Westmelon, Zaka, there's like just over 20 HP between them. Amelia's low as well. It's only G that has got pretty much all of his HP. Asex all fought about taking the fight, but couldn't manage it. And surely is not ready for West Mellon. Considers it. Holds the line. A player's encroaching his position. All different angles. Asex not ready. No gun saved. No money really built up either for LYG. This is the best chance Lin Vision have got to close their opponent's map pick. Yeah, it's been a bit of a grind all envisioned to get back into this one after that first half was so dominant right a 4-8 half the pistol even going the way uh of i'm oh, sorry looking like it was going to go the way of lyg 
you wonder if maybe they hadn't fumbled that retake with the the defuse that they could have got their way into this CT side and we could be looking at a different scenario. The first time out, it's crazy they've not, I, not used one yet. I suppose, I, I'm not sure what their coach situation is like. Maybe they've not felt that the pause would benefit them. Instead, just put the pedal to the metal. Regardless, they need three in a row for overtime. All, all I can really think for them to do is just to get aggressive because it was working against the Mongols when they were disruptive on that CT side. And you've got the perfect weaponry to really do it. The MP9s, you see that Haskier has been more than happy to try and take these fights down a ramp time after time. But Vision, it looks like they're ready for it. Holding the line. There's a lot of players, four of them, committing in towards this A ramp fight. Soundwave, Haskia, all ready and raring to go. The flashbang, it's good. But the rifles in support are just that much better. Sanji through the flashbang is now last alive against three players from Lim Vision, and they're already on the B bomb site. Yeah, merely got the one player that was over that side. The one versus three. A well tied flank at the very least, but Zach is away. You can see he's planting safely. Surely there's just no way this is possible. Would have to be a, a momental failure from Lind Vision to let this one slip. They've backed out. They've got the mollies for the post plant. A HE forward Sanj has to swing, has to find these kills. Molly onto the bomb, one back in return, but it's not going to do too much. He gets one kill for his troubles without a kit. Chances are pretty much zero. Tapped, and there's just literally no time. There's the kit, but it doesn't matter. He hits the deck, and Lin Vision will take Vertigo. Really impressive from Lin Vision. To be able to bounce back after that first half, and I, that T side was just fantastic. Full credit to Amelia because he was creating so much space. Uh, a good attempt in that last round as well for the clutch. There, there was a kit, as you said.